Hey there, ADB024, Aaron in southern Russia on the Black Sea in the resort town of Sochi. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you could please do so, but I'm at uh, Dendrari Park in Sochi, and it was founded in 1892 by Horkov, and he was a large business owner of St. Petersburg newspaper and that was in 1892 and he built this park and it's spectacular and today it's uh, still pretty much the same it survived through the uh, Soviet air but uh, I don't know if he did he uh, if Lenin didn't uh, finish him off Stalin did but um, his his park is still here and now it is funded a little bit by uh, government yet you still have to pay to get in here tickets so we'll see how long uh, government funding lasts I think uh, they'd want to sway away from that but I think that's great here's a, a pond real nice and he was real into uh, sculptures and Today there's uh, many animals, uh, lots of birds, and there's over 220 species of uh, trees, and it's a nice, nice park. What you're looking at there are some black swans with uh, some new babies there. So that's pretty rare, some black swans. Let's go have a look around. So like I said, this man who owned the uh, St. Petersburg newspaper uh, founded this and started this park here, or his own garden, and uh, you know, all privately owned then before the uh, communist revolution and uh, stole it from him. But uh, check out this wisteria. It's got to be original planted in 1892 or something. It's just, it's awesome. Alright, so uh, there's even an aquarium, and it was original. He had even built an aquarium here. As you can see, uh, there's uh, one entrance, but then uh, here's the aquarium, and now today this used to all be glass, and you used to look into there. You could just look in there, and it was uh, a huge aquarium, but now you have to go through an entrance, and uh, there's small aquariums inside. Alright, so this is what this uh, aquarium looks like today. Got a, a shark. Different uh, coral reef. A stingray. Here's a piranha tank. Check this out. I'm still trying to figure out how they did this. This here is something new to the park, an actual uh, statue head figure of the uh, the creator of the park, which is uh, it's pretty much brand new. You can tell it's new, and during Soviet times, this is something that was uh, something kind of forbidden because you didn't want people to know really who created it and that uh, it was a private enterprise that did create something this beautiful. This is all this guy's work. Uh, the only thing that's new around here is, um, of course, some new plants are planted and different animals and all that. But I'm getting a little scared that I'm not going to be able to see it all because it's uh, getting pretty late. I got here a little late. This is some weird looking palm that I guess is actually uh, native to uh, this region. Looks like it's one slow-growing uh, tree. 
Alright guys, behind me what I have is Dutcha Nadirjda, which seems to be, uh, what I can see here is what was his old uh, vacation home and property and all that, and he made it a, a beautiful uh, garden, and today everyone can still enjoy it. Check it out, you can see uh, a view of the Black Sea from up here. Out there, the Black Sea, and you look, it's just, uh, it's amazing, the uh, architecture. The yeah, stairways coming up here, the fountains, the uh, the trees, and here's the old uh, old house. So what I have behind me here is a, uh, a large um, cable suspension uh, tram or gondola cars. Yeah. And this is in the park. This is at the top of the, uh, the park at the very top. And so you can either uh, ride it, come up the uh, mountain to the top or ride it down. Go check that out. Hey guys, so I hiked up here on this uh, gondola cable car um, tower and I gotta be 15 stories up and let me tell you the view up here is just amazing. Here's a look at the, uh, the park. The park is all of this area, all the way down to the sea, all the way up. It's, it's just huge. And here's a view of uh, Sochi and the Black Sea. And here's how some uh, some of the new capitalist Russians are uh, starting to live. Pretty amazing. Check out this guy. He's got his uh, swimming pool and house looking like an old uh, castle. So there's his original house up there, and here's a lot of his uh, original fountain and such. The garden area. So check it out. Uh, behind me here, what I have is the uh, state flower or state plant of Oregon uh, and it's native pretty much to Oregon. It is the uh, Oregon grape. Uh, there's no little grapes on it right now but uh, pretty interesting to be in Russia here and uh, it's a real old plant and I imagine uh, originally they had bought it from someone from Oregon or some other nursery somewhere in the world so it's kind of cool. All right, so what this is behind me here is a, uh, a butterfly garden, and there you see that butter, that's a butterfly, there's butterflies. It's too late, it's closed, so I can't get in there right now, 